Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 2nd September 2021, Pakistan Navy formally inducted its first modern maritime patrol aircraft known as Sea Sultan. It is based on Embraer Lineage 1000 aircraft and equipped with sensors and weapons made by Italian defense firm Leonardo. The follow-on contracts are expected to bring the total number of Sea Sultan to 9, replacing country's long-serving P3C Orient fleet. The Pakistan Navy had contracted Italian company Leonardo and South Africa's Paramount Group to convert three Embraer Lineage 1000 jet to a maritime patrol configuration. The contract with Leonardo involves the acquisition of two aircraft to join the single Leonard 1000 already in Pakistan, followed by design, modification, installation and integration of anti-submarine warfare and maritime patrol package. Talking about the capabilities of Sea Sultan, the aircraft is capable of intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare and airborne early warning missions. The Embraer Leonard 1000 is a business jet which can carry around 20 passengers and has a maximum range of 4,400 nautical miles, that is 8,149 km. Talking about its sensors and main equipments, the aircraft is equipped with electronic surveillance measures as electronic intelligence gathering platform. This type of system is capable of intelligence gathering, jamming and signal interceptions, etc. It will be integrated with AES radar, but details related with AES radar are classified. So we don't know which radar is actually being used in this platform and what its search angle is. But as per some speculations, it uses Leonardo C Spray 7300E active electronically scanned array radar with 180 degree of search angle. Apart from this, the aircraft will have EOIR that is electro optical infrared system which includes both visual and infrared sensors. EOIR system provides total situational awareness in both day and night and low light condition. The aircraft have internal weapon bay with external hard points. The aircraft features a SATCOM and IFF that is identification friend and foe DF sensor. The aircraft is capable of launching torpedoes, sonobuoys, depth in charges. The aircraft is capable of launching flare and chaff dispensers as countermeasure system. Now, Sea Sultan is being seen as a competitor for Indian PATI Poseidon. Also, the number of Sea Sultan ordered by Pakistan Navy matches the 10 PATI Poseidon operational by Indian Navy. The PATI has a maximum takeoff weight of 85 tons, which is twice the weight of Embraer Lineage 1000. So, PATI has a capability to carry more weapons payload. PATI Poseidon radar has search angle of 360 degree and Sultan has a search angle of 180 degree. Moreover, PATI benefits from an assured flow of technology and support from US Navy and Boeing unlike Sea Sultan. Recently, USA has also cleared the sale of Harpoon missile to India and Pakistan doesn't like this missile deal. However, induction of Sea Sultan will prove a boost to Pakistan's capability to patrol Arabian Sea and track Indian surface ships and submarines. Moreover, it is being speculated that Sea Sultan fleet may have another role in future for a spotting target for P2A2 hypersonic missile. The P2A2 is a ship-based long-range anti-ship and land attack ballistic missile which is under development. The P2A2 is similar to Chinese fleet of DF-21D and DF-26 anti-ship ballistic missiles. While the accuracy of ballistic missile in tracking ship is debatable, but they are harder to shoot down than a cruise missile. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your view about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions on any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our channel if you have not done already. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.